This is my third video on uh, solutions. Uh, I've just done one on uh, world, the possibility of world government. Here's my second idea. How do you get international standardization without a world government? Easy. Conventions. Conventions are not bad things by themselves. And the trick to a convention is it's all about the people who create it. Now I believe in what's called stakeholder only creation of conventions like you take uh, you take airplanes all the doors are on the left hand side up the front uh, there's at least one well you have to have one you can't get in unless you're a teleport which is awesome anyway tricks aside as far as uh, international standards go the airlines waiting the government's waiting because they uh, were basically running into the airlines and the passengers might have been cursorily asked, do you think this would be a good idea? And you wound up with an international convention. If you go outside the convention, it's at your own risk. Sorry, these batteries do need to be recharged. However, a lot of people in a lot of areas could use the same procedure, and the best bit is it completely, of being stakeholder only, rules out an inconsiderate tyranny from getting their claws into it. Don't get me wrong, I've got big faith in business. So you take an example like uh, fishing. If you ever watch a series like the Troller Men, which is set in the UK, or the Deadliest Catch, which is set in the US, uh, trolling for lobsters, crabs, uh, fish, it's, you know, pretty good. However, the fish stocks have massively declined because of overfishing. I'm not saying they're not still there, I'm saying they're way down from where they used to be, from the 60s. If you asked all the trawlermen, the fish companies, and anyone who's got a boat and does recreational fishing, or anyone who's uh, selling fish, I'm not saying eating it, that's different. I'm saying anyone who's selling it, they will all tell you that if there's seasonal scarcities of certain things, the price goes up when it's in season. They will also tell you that if you lay off or leave fallow the areas where you're uh, going after certain game for uh, you know one season off, one season on, you can actually increase the fish, fish or uh, marine life stocks that you're going after. Same for whaling, really. And I'm not against whaling. As a matter of fact, I've always wanted to eat whale meat. So hey. You can say what you like about it. If they weren't endangered, I'd love to give it a go. It's that simple. So, stakeholder-only voting to create international conventions on stuff like how to use rivers, how to uh, run a business, and if you also ask the employees of the companies that have stakes in this, uh, especially about, ooh, let's say, wages, they would say it would have to be relative to the standard of living. Absolutely. And unless you can get the stakeholders to all agree on a basic set of principles and leave the rest up to the local communities, then, then you've got something.